Microsoft Excel offers numerous built-in cell formats. But if you need something extremely specialized, you can develop your own with custom cell format. Then you can display the cell value as per your preference. Hey there Excel enthusiasts, welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBA related challenges. I'm Shahriya Rabra Rafid and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to custom format cells in Excel. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Custom number formats help you show numbers, dates, times, fractions, percentages, and more just the way you want. You can show the number with your preferred decimal place. With format code, you can insert the thousand separators into the number. Also, showing the number in the thousand unit is possible. I can add text string with numbers using the custom format cell option. Adding currency symbols with the value is also quite easy. You can easily convert your values into percentages or fractions. You can apply conditional formatting with custom format code. To develop a custom format in Excel, you must understand how the number format is recognized. This code consists of four sections separated by semicolons, each section specifying a different formatting rule. The most left one serves for positive numbers. Then one by one to the right, it's one negative, zeros, and text values. You can create an endless amount of custom number formats in Excel by applying the formatting codes mentioned in this table. Hash or pound symbol. It's the digit placeholder that doesn't show extra zeros. Question mark. It's also a digit placeholder which hides unimportant zeros. At the rate of sign, it's the text placeholder and double quote, any text wrapped in double quotes will be shown in the cell. You can use characters in the format code also. This table includes them, dollar sign, less than and greater than sign, carrot symbol, ampersand symbol, and so on. A period, generally we called it a full stop symbol, represents the decimal point's location. The number of decimal places required is determined by zeros. For example, if you use the code, Pound symbol 0 0.00, it will show two decimal places like 3.50. Now I'll show them practically in the sheet. Select values in the B5 to B10 range. Press Ctrl plus C on the keyboard to copy them. Then go to cell C5 and press Ctrl plus V to paste the values. In the Home tab, go to the number group of commands. Click on the little arrowhead of number format in the right bottom corner of the group. It will open the format cells dialog box. Let's close it. Alternatively, you can do it by using a keyboard shortcut. Press Ctrl plus 1. It does the same action. Here in the category section, select the custom option. In the box of the type section, place the format code 0. Click OK. It shows the number without any decimal values. Although the input value has decimal digits, it rounds the number. In cell C5, it rounds up the number to 8. For getting one digit after the decimal, I'll use another code. First, copy values from B5 to B10 range and paste them in the D5 to D10 range. Press Ctrl plus 1 to open Format Cells dialog box. Go to Custom. In the Type box, write down the code 0.0. .0. Click OK. Look, the values are now showing with one decimal plus. Similarly, you can increase the decimal to two, three digits and even more. For two decimal places, use the code 0, 0.00. Also, the hash 0, 0.00 or the pound symbol 0, 0.00 or pound symbol 0, 0.000 0, do the same. Comma in the format code can generate a custom number format with a thousand separator. Copy the values and paste it in cell C5. Press Ctrl 1 in the custom section, type the code hash comma write hash three times. Click OK. Here, I put a comma after three digits from the right. It will put a thousand separator if the number exceeds three digits. You can see this in cell C5. If the number goes above six digits, it inserts another thousand separator. This happens in the cases of C8 to C10 range. This process will go on with the increment of each three digits. You can add digits after decimals with the same format. Just Add a period sign and zeros with the previous code. And that's it. 
if a comma is contained by any numeric placeholders like pound symbol, question mark or zero, Microsoft Excel divides thousands by commas. Already I showed what the four pound symbol with comma can do. But if there is no digit plus holder after a comma, the number is scaled by a thousand. Copy and paste them. Press Ctrl plus one in the custom section. Write pound symbol and a comma. Click OK. Values are divided by thousand in the output. If we put two consecutive commas, the values will be shown in millions. Values in cell E5 and E6 aren't shown because they are rounded down to zero. To indicate that the numbers are scaled by units such as thousands and millions, I will add K and M to the format codes. Copy and paste the range. Press Ctrl 1 in custom section. I will write the previous examples code. Hash, comma, 3 pound sign, a period sign, 0, 0, 0. Now, I will place a comma and add a backslash and write a capital K. Click OK. You can see the output with the unit K. If you add a space between the comma and the backward slash, it will do the same to the output also. But it makes the result more readable. For millions, write M instead of K. We can show text and numbers in a single cell. Suppose you want to add the phrase increase for positive numbers and decrease for negative values. Copy and paste them. Press Ctrl 1 in the custom section. Write the code double quote increase space double quote hash point zero zero semicolon double quote decrease double quote minus pound sign point zero zero semicolon and zero. This code means it will add the text increase before any positive number and add the text decrease with any negative number and zero will be shown zero only. You can see these three variations in the C5 to C7 range. I want to add the text American Novelist with all my text in my sheet. Here write the code general semicolon general semicolon general semicolon and and add the rate of sign the first three general indicates the positive negative and zero values the fourth part of the code at the rate of is the text plus holder as i want to add the text before my text values i'll type the additional text in double quotes before the add the rate of sign here, I am keeping a single space after the word novelist so that it doesn't stick to the names. Click OK and see the result. If you want it after your text, write the text American novelist with double quote after the at the rate of sign. Generally, you can find the dollar sign on your keyboard. Just press Shift plus 4 to insert it. To include other currency symbols, first turn the num lock on, then Type the ANSI code remarked in this table. Make sure to use the numeric keypad while typing. I'll copy the value and paste them. Press Ctrl plus 1. In the custom section, I'll use the format code euro currency symbol and 4 pound sign in the type box. To insert the euro currency symbol, press ALT then 0, 1, 2, 8. Now write hash, comma, 3 hash symbol and click OK. You can format values in pound and dollar currency similarly. If you want to represent a number as a percentage of 100, use the percent symbol in your custom format code. Copy and paste them. Press Ctrl plus 1 in the custom section. Type the format code hash and percentage sign. Click OK. It shows the output with no decimal places. To show percentages with two decimal points, use the code pound sign point zero zero percent. And that's it. This code represents a fraction remaining of up to one digit. Copy and paste them. Press Ctrl 1 
in the custom section type hash space hash divided by another hash symbol click ok and see the output in the next column i'll apply the custom format also in case you want to scale fractions to a certain denominator include it after the slash in your format code copy and paste it go to custom category write hash space hash divided by five this code represents the fraction with a fixed denominator 5. Click OK. See, all the denominators in the outputs are 5. For displaying numbers in scientific notation, copy the numbers, paste them, press Ctrl plus 1, go to custom section and write pound symbol E plus pound symbol as the format code. Click OK and see the result in the sheet. Now, I'll show you the applied custom format in other two columns. For negative numbers, to construct a custom format, you will need at least two code parts. One for positive numbers and zeros and another for negative numbers. Copy the numbers and paste them. Press Ctrl plus 1. Go to custom category and write the code hash point zero zero semicolon open parenthesis hash point zero zero closing the parenthesis here the left portion of the semicolon is for positive numbers and the remaining is for negative numbers click ok and see the output see the format in the next column you can use this code to add an indent in the positive values section to align positive and negative integers at the decimal point See, the decimals are aligned. Zeros are displayed as dashes in Excel accounting format. You can also do this in your own number format. The third section of the format code determines the zero layouts, as you recall. So, enter dash in the third section to make zeros appear as dashes. For example, copy the value and paste it. Press Ctrl plus 1. Go to custom section and write the code 0.00. .00 semicolon open parenthesis 0, 0.00 close parenthesis semicolon in double quote write dash click ok here the zero in cell b7 is outputted as a dash also you can use the general code to do the same without decimal places here negative numbers are shown in negative sign You can indent information within a cell if you don't want the contents to ascend against the cell sideline. Apply the underscore to generate a space to add an indent. Copy and paste them. Press Ctrl plus 1. Go to custom category. Write the code 00 underscore right parenthesis underscore right parenthesis semicolon 0, 0.00 closing parenthesis semicolon 0 underscore right parenthesis semicolon underscore left parenthesis and at the rate of click ok and see the result you can include two or more indent codes in a cell in your custom number format to move values more away from the cell borders now i'll indent positive numbers zero and text by two characters and negative numbers by one character as there is already a parenthesis with the negative values You can change the font color for a specific value type with custom format code. First, copy these values and paste them. Press Ctrl plus 1, go to custom category. Here, I'll write the code. Green, general, semicolon, red, general, semicolon, black, general, semicolon, blue general make sure that the color code must be the section's first item here the positive values will be shown in green the negative numbers in red zeros will be black and text strings will be blue click ok and see the result you can also display 
the currency sign two decimal places and a thousand separator and show zeros as dashes by combining color codes with the required number formatting. Here, instead of general, I'll type dollar sign hash comma hash twice 0.00. .00. For negative number, I'll edit the code like this is same as the positive numbers code, just I added a minus sign with this. For zero, I'll type a dash. And for text, I'll insert the at the rate of sign. And click OK. And look at the result. Enter an asterisk before the character to complete the column width with a repeated character in your Excel format. You can add leading zeros in any numeric format. Copy and paste it. Press Ctrl plus 1. In the custom section, type asterisk 0 and a hash. Click OK. You can see all the cells have leading zeros. You can do this after a number 2. After the number code, type an asterisk and a space to align the numbers left in the cell. Here, I'll show you how to align numbers to the left and text inputs to the right with a custom format. First, copy and paste them. Press Ctrl plus 1. In the custom category, in the type box, write pound sign comma 3 pound signs and asterisk and a space. Then, give a semicolon. Similarly, write this with a negative sign. Then, 0, asterisk, space, semicolon, asterisk, space and add the rate of sign and click OK and see the results. I'll show numbers that are less than 10 in blue font color and numbers that are greater than or equal to 10 in red color. To do this, I'll use custom format option. First, copy the values and paste them. Press Ctrl plus 1. In the custom section, I'll insert my custom format code. Blue, less than 10, general, semicolon, red greater than or equal to 10 general click ok and that's it in this tutorial i have shown 17 examples of custom cell formats in excel download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com if you like this video consider subscribing and click the bell icon thanks for watching